by Katrina from BSN Montage Performance. So for today, I'll be demonstrating about the oral medication preparation. In preparing an oral medication, we must first assess the patient. Assess if he or she has the allergies in the medication. And then, you can ask them if they are able to swallow the medication. Now, the next thing you'll be asking if they are experiencing the feeling of nausea and vomiting. After that, now you can tell the specific drug action, side effects, interaction, and adverse reaction. Now, after doing that, we can uh, ask them if they have the knowledge about the medication and procedure. If they, are, they have not uh, obtained a knowledge about the medication or about the procedure, you can give information about the medication they'll be taking and what are the procedures or what the medication will be wrote. Now, after that, we can prepare the materials that we are needing. The materials that we are needing is our, especially our MAR, where the medication card, where the doctor's order are written. And then, our medicines, our uh, measuring cup, and the uh, cup that we'll be using for the tablet. And then, our tissue, our 3CC syringe, our 3CC syringe, our tray, then our uh, alcohol. The rationale in assessing the patient is to give them awareness about the medication and also uh, for us to be able to identify if our patient has the ability to swallow the medication. Now, um, we are going to uh, wash our hands and observe other prevention infection procedures before we prepare the medication. The rationale is so that the microbes the microbes and other uh, contaminants will be prevented and the uh, patient will be safe in acquiring the medication while we prepare them. So, uh, for other prevention infection procedures, I'll be disinfecting my hands with my alcohol. Now that uh, we've already um, disinfected our hands, now we can proceed in uh, um, obtaining properly the medication. So, uh, we'll be checking first and verify the MAR or the doctor's order in the medication card. So, the doctor's order is paracetamol tablet and paracetamol here. Now, uh, we'll be taking the medication and compare if the medication is same with the doctor's order. So first, the doctor's order for a 16 years old is a paracetamol tablet 500 mg. So the syrup uh, was ordered by the doctor for a seven-year-old. So paracetamol syrup, and also it's the same. Now uh, the next thing we'll be checking is the expiration date of the medicine. Let's check. For paracetamol tablet is will be expired in December 2023, while the uh, 
paracetamol syrup will be expired in February 2024. So, uh, this means that these medicines or the medications are consumable by this time. Now, the next thing that we are checking is the uh, packaging. If if the labels in the package are still legible and readable and since that uh, it's still in a good packaging and you are able to uh, read the labels inside the package then uh, we can confirm that the medications are still in good condition so the rationale in verifying reading the MAR or the doctor's order and checking the medicines if they are still in good condition in consuming is for us to obtain an accurate and right, right medication for the patient because now we can prepare the medication by calculating the proper medication uh, dosage and also to uh, prepare the, uh, the medication without contaminating it. Now in preparing a tablet medication, so we'll be grabbing a tablet. Now let's again check the uh, doctor's order which is a paracetamol tablet 500 mg. So, since that we are comparing it, uh, we have verified that it is the same. Now we'll be putting this tablet in our cup, tablet cup. So let's make sure that uh, we are putting the tablet with 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 its uh, package. The rationale is uh, we are just going to remove the tablet within a package if we are going to administer the uh, medication already in the uh, patient so that we'll be able to prevent the contamination. Now we are going to put. Now there are instances that the tablet medication are uh, we are going to use a pill crusher because there are patients that has the difficulty to swallow a medication so for them to be uh, easily take the medication is we are going to crush or powderize the tablet and then put in the water or mix it in the soft food so that they'll be Taking the medication, medication easily. And then we are done in our tablet. The next thing that we are going to do is to prepare a liquid medication, which is our syrup. So now let's compare it again. The doctor's order: paracetamol syrup for a seven-year-old and. Doctor's order is only 5 ml. The root is oral. So, so this um, medication uh, must be uh, shaken. So we grab our tablet and then let's shake. The rationale is to be uh, so that the medication will be effective on the patient. Now, we are going to pour the, the medication syrup. So, um, let's not forget to put the cup of the syrup upside down so that uh, we are going to prevent the infection or the contamination because the microbes might get into the cup if we are going to put it in the right side. Now, to put the syrup in the cup, we must uh, put the cup in a flat surface to 
get an accurate Thank you. 